Ben Campbell says, can you tell us about the origin of One Day Builds? What are some of the earliest projects? Uh, do wives thank you for consistently busting the myth that house projects can't be completed in a day? <laughs> I don't love those jokes. Ben, um, the origin of One Day Builds is that in, when, when was the first one? Was it 12? 2012, we were chatting and about stuff that we could build. And I was like, you know, I've been wanting to make a case for my Blade Runner blaster. I could probably do that in a day. Oh, that's actually, yeah. And then I thought, right, I've got a skill. I'm fast. I can, yeah, let's. Let's call this series One Day Builds. It was that simple. Yeah, Norm is agreeing. It was that simple. Uh, and then astoundingly, I built that Blade Runner blaster case in one day. It was like, we finished like 9.30 at night. Um, but that was absolutely the first case. That was the first, that was the first One Day Build. And it's born out of the fact that as a model maker, my training came from commercial television first. So from like 1993 to 1997 or so, I worked on about a hundred some odd commercials with Jamie Heineman in his shop. And that kind of work hones you into a speed machine as a maker. It, it, you know, you have hours to finish something, not days, not weeks. You don't have a team, it's you and like a glue gun and there's a whole crew waiting and they cost $10,000 a minute. Um, it's not quite that bad, but it's close to that bad. Uh, so my skill base comes from rapid iteration, rapid problem solving, and I thought that's a great frame for a build series. And really early on, we discovered that all the one day builds go over one day, every single one. <laughs> and what's, what's so funny, because a, a few of you asked me questions in here about my self-proclaimed superpower of like knowing how much I could get done in a day. And what's funny is I still think of that as one of my superpowers when producing television, but somehow when producing web content, I can't estimate exactly how much time anything takes. It's really seriously true. Um, yeah, the Blade Runner Blaster case was, by, was the first one day build. We'll, we'll include a link in the comments. Um, that was the first thing Tom Sachs and I talked about when we were first chatting. He was like, dude, I really love that piece. Uh, David A. Mo oh, Projects by David A. Moody. Projects by David A. Moody asks, how do you prepare for a one day build? Are you locked into a plan or do you still have room for improvisation? I, yeah. Okay, so. Let's see here. Yeah, I, I, I wanna cover the stuff I shoot on camera because there's another couple of questions where people are like, you shouldn't feel guilty about building stuff off camera. Because I do say, I often feel guilty about building stuff off camera. Um, I prepare myself for a one day build. I'm looking for a specific kind of building experience in which um, I can hit familiar snags and move past them in ways that are useful for my audience. That's the goal. It never is quite perfectly achieved, but that's the goal. Um, there are, one of the reasons I build stuff off camera is because there are certain kinds of problem solving that I need a little more mental space to do and having the camera set up takes away some of that mental space because I'm thinking about the storytelling. And not to say, and it might be very different if I had a full-time crew in here covering everything that I was doing. But again, frankly, even having a crew in the in the room can be the wrong kind of energy when I'm trying to just sort of figure out how to make something. It's, so the 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 uh, oxyacetylene cart that I built last week is a terrific example. I knew the basic structure, but I also knew I kind of really wanted to figure this out organically and my body just knew I didn't want to film it. So I didn't. Um, but you asked how I prepare for a one day build, not how I reject one. Um, so I look for a set of tasks that are going to be fun to execute. Uh, I don't mind hitting snags when I'm doing those. It used to be that I'd send these guys out of the room when I hit a snag. I stopped doing that a while ago. 
Um, Cause you know, there's like sometimes you hit a snag, you're like, ah, oh, I need to reset. Okay, everyone, can everyone just give me the room for half an hour and you sit and you think about it. And sometimes you're like, oh, I wish I wasn't stupid. And then you kind of figure it out and you, okay, everyone come on back and you, you sort of delve back into it. Um, actually, fr frankly, filming myself alone is so great for that because I feel like I can have genuine moments with the audience through the camera because I'm alone. And I can't quite replicate that same thing when someone's filming me. Even like, you know, someone I'm as familiar with as Joey or my old Cameron saw, cameraman Saws from Mythbusters. I mean, like both of those guys have been filming with them for years and I'm so comfortable around them. And yet still there's like this, there's like a difference of being alone in this space and, and, and filming with another person. So um, it's different for every build, except that as I embark on a one day build, I have a certain bird's eye view of it that I understand. And I can't go into a build until I have that specific bird's eye view. So I, like right around the corner here, I've got like three things in boxes set up for potentially soon one day builds, but they haven't quite hit that sweet spot of my mental frame yet. And until they do, I, 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 I can't do it. Um, and, you know, someone else, where is the person that forgives me for building stuff off camera? I want to thank them because it's very sweet. Um, uh, look, one of the reasons I feel guilty when I build stuff off camera is because I'd love all of my surmounting of problems to end up on camera. I think that's always useful. I think it's great to watch people screw up. I think it's delightful to watch people actually solve problems, to watch the... I, look, I watch my own videos to see how we're doing. And I, I, there are times I'm like, ha, huh, I laugh at my own jokes or I'm thrilled at my own enthusiasm over something because it's so real. Ooh, packages. Um, and, you know, I so frequently I finish a build off camera and I think, oh, that would be so good. That would be so good to show. There's another reason I shoot stuff off camera. And sometimes it's just that I want the pleasure so there are often machining projects. I'm working on one right now, which I think I will cover pieces of as builds, but the overall aspect of it, uh, it's just a chance for me to kind of like get into that headspace of the mill. That's really like the mill and the lathe are two tools in which sometimes I just do builds on them because it's so pleasurable to spend like two whole days just diving into the zeros and making stuff work really well. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us even further, you can by becoming a tested member. Uh, details are, of course, below, but it includes all sorts of perks and we're building them all the time. You get advanced word and behind the scenes photos of some of our projects questions. You get to ask direct questions during my live streams. And we have some members only videos, including the Adam real time series of unbroken, unedited shots of me working here in the shop. They are weirdly meditative. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next one.